Hello everyone, welcome back to Showcase. Now, I'm going to look at another dagger, because why not? Now maybe you want to be a dexterity type. And maybe you don't even want to use a shield. That's how meta you want to be. Well, if you don't want to use a shield, there are other options. What those options are? Well, you have to be talented to use those other options. Now, I am not a dexterous type, but I will try my best anyway. So, the item of today's showcase is the parrying dagger. So instead of a shield, you can parry with a dagger. Of course, you could do it with a shield, but to be honest, I actually find a parrying dagger a little easier to use than a shield. Even though some shields are designed for parrying. Now, you can also use this as a weapon. But it doesn't make a very good weapon. <laughs> but I'll cover it anyway. It can still be used. Just not very good at fighting with. It's just used for parrying. Anyway, the description reads A dagger with a greatly curved guard. A dagger especially for parrying, which is usually equipped in one's left hand in place of a shield. The skill? Parry. Who would have thought? Surprise. <laughs> Deflect an attack when timed properly, and follow up with a critical hit. Works while equipped in either hand. Which is probably best in the left hand, but I'll do the majority of the review in the right hand. So we'll be testing it as a weapon itself as well. You never know. Could be decent. Now, in terms of parrying, you gotta be... It's kinda like dodging a bit, except a little more tricky. It's gotta be the moment the enemy makes contact with you, or the moment before. But anyway... When you take a look at it, well, they had a greatly exaggerated guard, that's for sure. Historically, parrying daggers only have really edges at all. They're usually blunted, because, you know, no point to having an edge on a dagger you don't tend to strike someone with. They do have points, though, so they're good for jabbing. But, and otherwise, it's a fairly plain looking thing. It looks silly a bit with those guards, but that's the idea. But oh well. This looks fine by my book. Now, the stats, the physical, well, it sucks. Yeah, it does. And the critical is not as high as other daggers would be. Other daggers usually have 130, and this one's only has 110. However, the tribute bonus is a C for dexterity. Really nice. Tribute requirements? Well, you don't need strength, that's for sure. You need a little bit of dexterity, but not much. The parry move is not really considered as special, so it consumes no FP. At all. And things like, things like a paperweight. So light. So in other words, again, used for parrying, not for battle, but it does have damage, so I guess I gotta cover it, don't I? <laughs> The animations, you only get the basic attack while well, you go swipes, left and right, like any other dagger. Powerful moves, well, so jabs, but you do heavier lunges. Two handed, well, you got a bit of jabs and then followed by lunges. Very quick though. Two handed, well, you got heavy jabs and a downward jab. Rather a bit slow. Now the pairing, as they said, it can work in either hand. It's very quick. So, ch chances are if a move can be parried, you have time enough to do it. Perhaps. Parrying is not so easy. And the sprint move? Well, it's pretty plain. It's a lunge. Now, upgrading this, you really get nothing out of this in terms of upgrading. You almost get nothing at all. Like very little points. However, on the fourth upgrade, you can see the attribute bonus goes from C to B. There's very few weapons that will do that early on. Not that it really matters too much with this weapon. <laughs> I don't really hold it in high esteem, even if it has a attribute bonus to B, but still, it's a pro on this weapon. If it matters anything. And even at Tainai Chunk, we haven't even doubled its attacks. So, performance. With so many other weapons, the enemies are probably throwing a question mark while we're using this. But the critical hit, 
Yeah, it wasn't that great. Our weapons do much better. Because it's the damage is just not there, that's why it's not great. <laughs> but, otherwise, you got a very quick attack. Anyway, even though I have this heavily upgraded, I'm fighting these weaker guys because I do not want to be killed parrying because I'm no good at it. I will be cutting away some footage to save myself some embarrassment because I am not good at parrying. But when you do finally get it right, it works wonderfully. Very nice. Kill him with one hit. Parrying is a powerful move. And when you get the hang of it, it's not the hardest thing in the world. Not to mention it does reduce damage when you fail, when you still the enemy makes contact. But in terms of it being an effective weapon, you've got to be talented, because you've got to know your enemy's moveset. Now, by all means, it's more effective to use a, a left hand. So I decided to equip the ray pedal that's not even upgraded in the other hand. Though, critical hit follow-ups are not always the easiest thing. Now, I did try. I really tried to see if I could parry a bigger weapon. So this guy has a weapon bigger than me, and it's just not working at all. Now, I tried many times, and this is actually my third attempt, and, you know, going through the cycles, so I gave it plenty of time trying to parry this, but it just wouldn't happen. You can't parry this large weapon, or I just suck that up. So, look at some pros and cons of the weapon. Pros. It's very fast. It's also very light. And when you do strike a parry, it's very effective, when you do. Now, on the con side, however, it is very short. It is also very weak. And pairing can be difficult. So, do not use the faint of heart. Only the best may use the pairing dagger and succeed. But, those people cannot be defeated. Can you, I, don't, I don't even want to fight someone in PvP with this weapon. This is a, this is going to lose if I try. <laughs> if they know how to use this in PvP. <laughs> so, conclusion. If you can master the parrying dagger, well, you own PvP. No one can stop you. And for most of the enemies in the Dark Souls universe, will be will fear you. Not the big ones though. They'll still smash your face in. That's where your dodging skills come in. But no matter. I still think it's an okay weapon. I can see the value in it. I just suck with it. That's very clear by this video. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching Showcase. I'll see you next time. Take care.